the heart of Guyana, as the Christmas season unfolds, a captivating tradition comes to life. The kitchen is a stage, and the star of the show is none other than Pepper Pot, a dish steeped in history and flavor. Hello, happy holidays, and Merry Christmas. Today, we are in Perseverance, East Bank Demerara, and I am here with Aliyah Shaw. And Ali will be making pepper pot for us today. As you know, pepper pot is one of these staples. It ha it's a must have at Christmas. We're going to wash the beef first. Usually people would add cow heel, the cow face mm -hmm. to it, but we prefer it with the meat, the beef alone. So this is our way of doing it. How long have you been making pepper pot? For years. My mom passed away when I was 15. She was the one who used to make it every year for us. So I, being the eldest daughter, I had to take up the tradition make the effort to learn and ever since then from 20 2005 i've been doing this to date here we have fresh green seasoning we have some fine thyme broadleaf thyme marit man pork or basil as some may know it as onion garlic sweet peppers and some hot peppers as well some weary weary pepper we have the orange peel sugar clove and spice over here and of course, the black gold, Pomeroon casserole. Without this, it's not pepper pot. Let's go back a little bit to where you were with your family. Sure. And coming about, coming up. Um, now, you know, when, when you got married and you were going to start a new life, I guess all of the experiences that you learned during that time um, of taking care of your, your own family at, at home oh, must yeah. have really done something. So what are you really good at in the kitchen though? What is it? What do you think is your really great meal in the kitchen? Everybody's got a one special thing in life for me. I think I have some people say I make good uh, cocoa rice. Um, I don't mean to brag, but I like food. I mm -hmm. like tasty food. So I think as long as I'm preparing something, I have to put my best into it because I want to enjoy it. I, it's, uh, if others don't, that's them. But as long as I can enjoy it, I'm okay. So I think for me, it's it got to be duck curry, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Chicken curry, I can cook a good fish curry. I love fish curry. Yeah. Um, I see there is a, there is, I see you have a trophy that you got fourth place in the duck curry competition, King's duck curry competition in 2022. Yes, I participated so. and I got fourth place. Yeah. Okay. Well, that it was is actually our first time yeah, that ever was, yeah. in a dog curry competition too. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is nice. Well, we, you know, um, it speaks volumes about your cooking. We joined that competition for the fun of it. I always heard about King's Dog Curry competition and I wanted to experience it for myself this time. So we called them up, we got the information and we just went try to give it a try. And... I was surprised when I heard I got food, so that was a big win for me. And as you said, this process was done um, last night. Yeah, I, had, I prepared some overnight already because it's better when it's soaked overnight, marinades into that meat. There you go. And you guys give that a good mix. Yeah, let's add some salt too. You just average your salt, huh? Yeah, well. <laughs> And of course the peppers. I like to throw in my peppers so it all mixes in. Okay. I usually buy my um the peppers, the beef 
everything I purchased from Border Market. Fresh stuff. The cas rib, I got it from a seller directly out of Pomeroon. I don't buy the, um, the packaged bottle stuff. I prefer the original. And that's it. Mm -hmm. We leave this to soak overnight. And then we pressure it. I usually pressure my pepper pot. I know some people would boil it, but it's easier that way. You know, as a young, as a young, um, as a young Muslim family, the holidays are here, are here, but now you may not celebrate Christmas, but how do you celebrate the holidays? Is there any way that you celebrate the holidays? Anything special? I think for us, this has been an everyday something. Despite being Muslims, mm -hmm. we still like to cook something special, a little special on Christmas Day or Boxing Day, depends. Yes. Pepper pot is always a must. Mm -hmm. It's it's like not Christmas without pepper pot and bread. And um we dance it. We don't do anything much. We would probably visit a few friends, join in their feasts and so this hair was prepared last night, seasoned, just as I did this set hair. This has been marinated I left it in the fridge. It's now out, ready to pressure in the pressure cooker. And this we're going to leave it to cook tomorrow, maybe. Okay. For this amount here, it's approximately like four pounds mm -hmm. of beef. So it would it can probably cater for like about. It depends on if you're a beef lover like yeah. me. Okay. It won't last that long, so about five to about seven persons. Okay. What are some of the great memories you have of, of Christmas as a kid growing up, Aliyah? Oh my gosh. We used to decorate our home. Mm -hmm. This was like when we were like about before the age of ten. My mm -hmm. mom, my dad, they would decorate the home. There's always um, you would get this aroma, sponge cake and mm -hmm. fruit cake in the house. You know, those street things: the sponge cake, fruit cake, and the pepper pot. As long as your home is filled with that aroma, you know it's Christmas. That was it for us. We would get the toys. It was all about toys for us as kids. And my mom would prepare something special, a nice meal. We said to eat, and we were always excited to play with our toys. That was Christmas for us. What are we gonna do now? As I said, I'm going to pressure it. Let's start this up. So, so like some people would um some people would you know would, would they would put a little bit of oil in, in the in the pot and so on how, how do you do yours i don't use the oil mm -hmm. i depend on the fat from the beef mm -hmm. and that that does it i, I just throw everything into my pot mm -hmm. close it down and wait for the magic to happen all right well let's see the magic then <laughs> okay good <laughs> there you go. okay that's I just threw in my peppers mm -hmm. and some orange peel. Mm -hmm. And yeah, let leave this to sizzle for a bit. And then we're going to cover it down to pressure. Okay. Salt, everything has been added to it already last night. Mm -hmm. So we just leave it now, let it boil up a bit, and then I'm going to cover it to pressure. All right. Well, let's see that happen then. Eh? <laughs> 
well, you're you're at you because you've worked you're always with the kids there. Yes. So it helps to helps with with, with the raising a young family when you can be there and and when you're out um, you're out at work um, doing what you do. So um, how is how is the Pelpa coming up there? Is is it's, I'm I'm glancing now and then. It's starting sounds good and you can already get the smell of it. Mm -hmm. See, it doesn't need anything else as it is. As it I is mean, well, it's I a... usually, when, when it's in the making, mm. I usually check, do a taste test if it needs a little more salt. Mm. I won't go for the peppers yet, let those simmer while good, and then I just mash them up in everything. Um, Nimran, I gotta tell you, I've heard this saying over and over that the, the way to a man's heart chew his stomach bro it seems as if it seems as if Alia really got the keys to your heart with her with her cooking eh? yes she did okay. yeah so um facebook started it and then um Ali, i guess the magic was in in cooking and, and, and being who you are also as the pepper pot simmers gently on the stove a symphony of spices fills the air creating an olfactory overture that heralds the arrival of the festive season the deep earthy aroma, a blend of casa reap, cinnamon, and cloves weaves in a sensory tapestry that transcends time. Families across Guyana unite in the kitchen, generations coming together to partake in this culinary rite. The ritual of preparing pepper pot is a shared experience, a time-honored tradition that binds communities and underscores the cultural richness of the nation. Pepper Pot tells a story of resilience and adaptation. Originally crafted for its preservative properties, the dish has transformed into a symbol of unity, reflecting the diverse influences that shape Guyanese identity. Guys, how do you feel about the, the, the progress of Guyana and its future? Nemo, let me start with you first. Well, for me, uh, with my YouTube channel, I tend to promote more of what's happening here. Um, all the development, all the new stuff that the government's doing, all the new infrastructure development, roads, housing, everything. I try to capture it as it happens and so that people can see. So what, what have you been seeing that has been happening that is really transforming this country? Obviously, that new highway that new would have highway, saved. Yes, it, that, how, how, how did that? How is that impact in your well, life or your lives? When we moved here, there was an idea of that road. So we were living almost ten minutes from the Eastbank Highway to just go out. Mm. Right now, within a minute, we're at the highway. Within ten minutes, we're in Georgetown. Wow! So that's a big, big difference. And, and what else? What, what I mean, you, you said you're working in the, in, um, in housing development. How 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 impactful is that? You know what's happening. Well, we're building uh, young professional houses for the government. Um, it's a very good initiative that they did. So they're allowing people to move into new homes rather than just giving them a land. Then they got to figure out how to get started. Mm -hmm. Right? They move into a house. And and how do you feel about? Um, about the, the future of Ghana. What is it that you're looking forward to for the future? You got two young kids. One is uh, eight and, and four. Yes. Yeah, how do you feel? You know, how do you feel about the future for 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 um for them? Well, I am trying to put things in place for them, so at least it's gonna be easier for them than it was for me. Mm -hmm. In terms of housing, in terms of jobs, like I'm, I started a company and I'm moving forward with that. Mm -hmm. What do you what do you think? Um, where do you see Ghana five years from now? In your opinion, Ali, where do you see Ghana Ghana five years from now? We're going places. It's going to be better than it was before. Mm -hmm. With all the developments, Ghana is going to become unrecognizable for the locals in five years. In five years, I, I believe, believe so, so. Because the simple the Heroes Highway, for example, driving out from where we're living to that road, it's a whole new scenery mm -hmm. for me personally. It's different. Like when I try to picture how the road was before the highway, 
I can't see it back yes. like that. I yes. imagine it's only been a couple of weeks. I can't. Or I just monster, can't yeah. see it back how it was. Like picture it. And that's where real transformation is. Right. So if one road and mm. all the roundabouts can do that, imagine um, what else is going to have, take place within five years. But if I may ask you, um, is there any any other development that you that you're seeing that has caught your attention? Also oh, many. First Lady, her little developments like the Seawall Project, these playgrounds for children, they were wonderful. We needed those things because there's hardly anywhere children can go and enjoy themselves. I mean, having kids, we look for places like that for them because that's what our life is about. We go out as a family, but we, are, we, we take our kids everywhere with us. But we have to make sure there's something that they can enjoy too. So. And, and uh, uh, Aliyah, if um, the future for Ghana looks great, you know, I, I, you, you're right, it really does look great. But is there something that you would like to see the government um, put, in, put, put in an initiative towards that you think can make it even much better? Um, the little things that bothered us, we're seeing those already being put in place. The okay. roads, a lot of places, rural areas now have roads. That's important. So, I, I, I'm waiting to see. I'm waiting to be surprised, actually. In the heart of every home, the pepper pot serves as a reminder that in the tapestry of Guyanese culture, the aroma of tradition is the sweetest of scents during the holiday season. A dish that transcends generations. A celebration that lingers in the air. The story of Pepper Pot is a tale of love, culture, and the magic of Christmas in Guyana. So guys, this Pepper Pot is here. It smells amazing. Aliyah, I gotta tell you, this, from, from the way that the, the meat is prepared and all of that, so to, we're gonna be, you know, they say the proof of, is, of, of the um, pepper pot is in the tasting. So we're gonna taste this pepper pot. Angelica is gonna join us and she's gonna tell us, tell us what she thinks also. And um, can, I, can, I, can I have some? Can please, I, please. Oh, yes, I, I, I can't wait. So I'm just gonna have a little bit. I, I want one of these. Brewery pepper to go here. Um, I like my pepper, so let's we get a little bit of this. this, this we call it here the juice, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to try some of that. Um, um, the pear pot is done. We're ready for tasting. But um, before we go to tasting, I would like to um, I would like for us to offer a word of prayer. Um, thanks and gratitude for. For all of us, go so far away, and especially at this time, um, where we give, you know, at the end of the year. But then every day of our life, we should be giving thanks and gratitude. So um, I I know that um, Nimrod is in the is in the masjid a lot, and so I'm wondering if you can say a little prayer for us, perhaps a little um, a little prayer, a little one for us first. Okay, you recommend that I do it. So um, it's a Muslim family we're here with. So I will just say something. Um, I will just say something very short, but in, in giving thanks and praise to God. So Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahir Rabbil Alamin. Rahmanir Rahim. Maliki Yom Yadin. Iyakna Abdu Wa Iyakna Stei. Idin Sirat Al Mustaqim. Sirat Al Adina An Anta Alaihi. Well, we want to give you thanks and praise for uh, for life. We want to give you thanks and praise for this the air that we breathe and everything that's, that's, that's sustenance to us all. And we pray and we ask you, Allah, that you will continue to bless this family and continue to keep them safe. And we pray that um, that the the food that we're about to eat, we will bless. We will bless for us. And we want to give thanks and praise to you, and we want to give you um, all, 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 all the, the gratitude for everything that you have done in your in our lives. And we pray and we ask you a lot to bless this, this, this Shah family and their and their, their two little children, 
and that you give them the guidance to all that. I mean, I mean. Right. So, um, all right. So I couldn't wait for this. There's a, I gotta, I gotta be really pepper in here. So I gotta be really pepper in here. Let me, um, let me, let me crush this with really pepper. So I get the real, you know, that, that real, um, burning sensation of pepper pot. That's the operative word, pepper. So let me try this. I hope I'm, I hope I don't have to get some, um, some something cold to drink because uh, it, it's gonna but this looks let me see oh my god this smells good angelica what do you think what was it? have a, have a smell that it's my right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so guys um the bread is here so um so why don't we why don't we all try it and everybody's gonna say what they think all right i guess first yeah Right, so I'll take this piece of the bread. A lot of people don't want this piece of the That's bread, my right? Favorite piece. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 am, I, I am one of those that would bypass it. So. Yeah, I already grabbed it. So okay. yeah. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, it smells good. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. That is perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it is good. It's really good. Um, what I like, what I like about this is that the orange peel. Kind of really bring out something different in this in this here, and I can nice. taste the cloves and the. The other thing is that that fresh garden seasoning that you put here, mm -hmm. and you, you grow the the, the garden, some of this stuff right in your yard outside. I do. So that that fresh you know garden seasoning um, brings out the 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 flavor in this and the casri, which is which which acts like a preservative also, um, can can make a pot. Pot keep for, for days. For days without refrigerator. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because um that cat's reap is a is a it's like a preservative and the meat is just perfect. The meat is just perfect. Nirman, what's your what are your thoughts here? This is how it is always been. Mm -hmm. It's excellent. Well, this is great. This is absolutely great. I, can I have another bread? Please. <laughs> I mean like the big piece here. <laughs> well, you guys can take the slices. You have the bowl and the bread. Okay. We have another. It's an apple. <laughs> so, we're here. We're eating this pepper pot. It's Christmas Day. And we're here with this family celebrating with them. Um, the holiday season. And I can tell you this. Mm, it is so good. Angelica, how different is this from what you have? It's a bit different. Angelica, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you said to me when you were making that pot back in your in your village in in Aishalton, it's very hot and all that. And now, yeah, now look at you, you can the pepper is too much for you. And there's an, and I crushed the pepper. You crushed the pepper, yeah. And you were telling me, and you were telling me about you were telling me about all this thing is so hot. And if you make back home, and this one has you, um, you know, like you want to cry. <laughs> What do you think about it? What was it about it's, the meat? It's great. I really, really like it. You did a great job on it. Thank you so yeah. much. And the meat, what do you think about the meat? And it's perfect. It's perfect. It's, it's just right. It's, well, it's just not my office. Yeah, yeah, yes. All right, guys. So let's dig in. Let me, let me get this here. Um, <laughs> man, this is, this is, this is, this is it here. You see, I got, I got the, 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 the cash with gravy. Oh, we got the juice. And, and piece of meat with this here, and um, mm. you should start a little pet bot business. <laughs> this is awesome. And as you know, many people prefer to make pet pot with different types of meats in Guyana. Um, some people do wild meat, um, different types of meat, and a lot of people add the cow heel and the um, cow feet. Cow face to this to give it that that gooey gluey kind of um, gelatin kind of thing that you know when you when you close your mouth mm -hmm. it really can't open because it's stuck together. <laughs> but um, Alia and, and and Nimran, you know, they're going for a more leaner kind of pepper pot. They want to show you that you can have a it's, it's more of a, a healthier choice because it's leaner. It's more lean meat yeah. and not so much of the fat. So. Um, there are so many versions of, of how you can prepare for a pot and but this here is just awesome and I am loving it. So guys, um, this is this is cool. Thank you so much. 
Um, Nimran and Alia, thank you guys so much for having us here today um, into your, your home. Um, we came here for Pepper Pot, but we, we, we got a little bit more than Pepper Pot, you know. We, got, um, we really got a chance to meet you as a family. And I really admire you guys as a family. I think it's, um, it's really great to see a young family like you, you guys um, in, the, in, in this beautiful growing country of ours. Um, also looking forward to the wonderful things that are going to be happening. And um, this is your son, um, Rihan. Rihan. Yeah, and this is your daughter. What is your name? Noura. Noura. So, um, on behalf of Ghana Television Network, we want to wish you happy holidays. And this is our Same way to you. of saying thanks. Um, Angelica will give the gifts to the to the to the to Rihan mm. and Nora. Come, come, come. No, it's okay. Take it. Thank you. Let me say thank you. Thank you. All right. Aww. And uh, Aliyah for your efforts in the kitchen. Um, we also have something to give to you. Oh yeah. And oh, thank you. And we hope that you really enjoy it. It's a little token of appreciation from us oh. at Ghana Television Network. Thank you, Angelica. All right, so, so guys, um, you know, it was such a wonderful time to be here with you. And we really, I enjoyed, really enjoyed the pair pot. We liked the process. And um, from all of us here at Ghana Television Network, happy holidays. Same to Same you time. and your team. Mm -hmm. It was a pleasure on behalf of us to having you guys here. We enjoyed it. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to say to your family and friends who might be watching? It's Christmas Day. Season greetings to all of you and enjoy. Have a wonderful time from the Shahs. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your holidays. You too, Akash. Right. It's always a pleasure having you around.